Hi, welcome to this morning stretch. We'll begin by laying down on the back. So come onto the back, stretch the legs away from each other. <clears throat> Place one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest. Bring all of your attention to your breath and begin to deepen the breath. Imagine sending the breath deep into the low belly, middle belly, upper belly, low chest, upper chest, throat, and as you exhale, release from the throat, the upper lower chest, the upper middle and low belly. When you exhale, activate the muscles in the throat to make the breath audible, as if you're slowing down the exhalation. When you find that activation in your throat, maintain it as you inhale as well. So the entire breath cycle becomes audible. Stay with the breath for a few more cycles. We'll use this breath through the entire practice. It warms you from the inside out. And also paying attention to the breath is going to help open the body even more deeply than just stretching with shallow breaths. Release the hands. Extend the arms up overhead. And keeping the pelvis exactly where it is, walk the heels over to the right. Keeping the pelvis where it is, lift the upper body and walk it over to the right as well. Right hand can hold left wrist. So the pelvis stays, the heels and the upper back and the arms are shifting over to the right. Head is relaxed. Right hand holds left wrist. This might be enough. You might wanna go deeper by crossing the left ankle on top of the right. Wherever you are, breathe into the left side of the body. Slow, deep breaths, inhaling up the spine and exhaling down. On your next inhalation, walk the heels back to center. Lift the upper body and bring it to center as well. On your exhale, walk the heels over to the left and keeping the pelvis where it is, lift and shift the upper body also to the left. Left hand holds right wrist. Take a couple of deep breaths into the right side body now. Again, if it feels like you want to go deeper, no need to push. If you want to go deeper, you can cross your right ankle on top of your left ankle. Breathe into the low belly middle belly upper belly breathe up the spine and exhale down the spine an inhalation walk the heels back to center and bring the upper body back to center extend the arms bend both knees bring the soles of the feet to the mat lift and shift the hips over to the left Take the knees at 90 degree angles and drop them down to the right. Right hand comes to the top of the left thigh, left arm reaches out. Make sure the left shoulder stays grounded on the mat and gaze towards the left hand. Take a couple of slow deep breaths up and down the spine here. Slowly unwind, raising the knees, soles of the feet to the mat. This time, lift and shift the hips over to the right, taking the knees to 90 degree angle and dropping them down to the left. Left hand on the top of the right thigh, right arm reaches out, and your gaze is towards the right arm. Be sure the right shoulder is grounded into the mat and take those slow, deep, audible breaths. Inhale, unwind. Hug both of the knees into the chest and gently rock from side to side. Extend the left knee. As you begin your exhalation, drop the right knee out to the side and begin to make hip circles. So the exhale hugs it in and the inhale lengthens it out. Take a few circles in one direction 
Maybe closing the eyes and visualizing the ball and socket joint that is your hip. And then switch directions, balancing yourself out so the inhale straightens the leg and the exhale hugs it into the chest. From here, straighten out that right leg. If you have a towel or a strap, you can wrap that around the ball of the foot and hold onto it. You can also hold the back of the thigh or the calf, or if you can reach the foot, you can do that. Just make sure the shoulders are flat on the mat. And just take a couple of slow, deep breaths here. Keep the left leg active, toes flexed. There's no need to go deep here. We're just warming up. Drop that right foot out to the side with an exhalation and take a couple of breaths here. An inhale, come back to center. Bend the left knee, placing the sole of the left foot on the mat. Take the right ankle to the top of the left thigh. Keep the right foot flexed. Press into the right inner thigh. You might stay here, or you might go deeper, taking the hands to the back of the left hamstring and hugging that left knee towards the face. Slow, deep breaths an option to gently, very slowly rock side to side. After a few deep breaths there, release the right leg, hug the left knee into the chest. Again, finding that slow, deep breath, belly, chest, throat. And as you exhale, you begin to make hip circles with the left, straightening out the leg. Exhale to the chest. Inhale straight. Exhale to the chest. A few circles in one direction. And then pause and change direction. And visualizing, sending the breath into the left hip now. And then come back to stillness. Grab your towel or your strap, place it across the ball of the foot, extending the left leg and holding onto the strap or the back of the left thigh. A couple of deep breaths here. And then slowly open it out to the side. Keep the right leg engaged, right foot flexed. And then come back to center sole of the right foot on the mat, left ankle to the top of the right thigh. Left foot flexed, press into the left inner thigh. Stay here or go deeper by taking hold of the back of the right hamstring and bringing it towards the face. Slow deep breaths. Option to rock gently from side to side. And come slowly back to stillness, lowering the right foot to the mat, and then the left. Hug both knees tight into the chest and rock gently side to side. You can roll onto one side and press yourself to seated or roll all the way up. When you sit down, if you notice that the low back is even just a little bit rounded like this, it's best that you sit on a little cushion or a pillow, lift up your sit bones so that your spine can get nice and straight. And if your knees are really high, so these are just indications of hip, tight hips, hamstring and low back, probably all three, you can place a pillow or a yoga block if you have it underneath your knees as well. Hands can rest on your knees. On your next exhalation, gently drop the chin to the chest. Send the breath into the back of the neck. Relax the shoulders. You might even place the hands in the lap to relax the shoulders even more. Send three to five deep breaths up and down the backside of the neck. 
as you inhale, elongate from tailbone to the base of the neck. And as you exhale, let the weight of the head and gravity open up the back of the neck even more. Continue to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Arms are soft, hands are heavy. On your inhalation, gently roll the left ear to the left shoulder. Making sure that the face is parallel to the front now. And the left ear is reaching towards the left shoulder. Relax the right shoulder down away from the right ear. Again, send the breath into the right side of the neck, inhaling up the neck, exhaling down, letting the weight of the head and gravity increase the distance between the right ear and the right shoulder. Three to five slow, deep breaths here, audible breaths. The inhale lengthens you from tailbone to the base of the neck, and the exhale drops the head even further. Right shoulder is relaxed. If it feels like you'd like to go a little bit deeper here, you can place the right hand on the mat and take a couple of deep breaths there. If it feels deep enough with the hands in the lap, just stay there. On your next exhalation, gently roll the chin to the chest. And on your inhale, roll the right ear towards the right shoulder. Again, checking that the face is parallel to the front and that you're extending along the left side of the neck. Inhale up the left side of the neck, exhale down. Letting that left shoulder relax away from the ear. Each exhalation allows the weight of the head to drop even more, lengthening the space between the left ear and the left shoulder. And again, this might be deep enough, but if it feels like if you'd like to go a bit deeper, you can place the left hand on the floor, just tent the fingers beside the left hip and take a couple more deep breaths. Otherwise, stay where you are. As you exhale, gently roll the chin back to the chest. And as you inhale, lift the head. Exhale, gently drop it back. Allow the teeth to touch, but relax the muscles of the jaw. Opening up through the muscles in the front side of the neck now. Inhale, come to center. Place the hands on the knees for leverage, and as you take your next inhalation, draw the belly forward, bend the chest, drop the head back, and as you exhale, drop the chin to the chest, concave the chest, and draw the belly to the spine. Roll all the way onto the sacrum, tucking the pelvis, so really exaggerating this movement, and move with your own breath here. So, Inhales, arch the back, draw the belly, draw the chest forward, and exhales, round the back, drawing the navel to spine, tilting the pelvis so that the sacrum rolls onto the mat. Move through three to five breaths here at your own pace, 
Your inhales bring you forward and your exhales round you back. Good, as you're moving through this, really feel deeply into the opening of the front side of the body as you come forward, draw the shoulders back, and really feel into the opening of the back side of the body as you round back, opening all the muscles in the spine. When you come to your next inhalation, come to a neutral spine. From here, place the right hand on the mat, raise the left arm up, and lean to the right. So without rounding the spine just yet, imagine drawing the right side of the ribcage towards the right hand, sort of leaning into it. You should feel this on the lower left side of the back. Take a couple of slow, deep breaths here. And then with your next exhalation, go ahead and round through the spine, bringing that right elbow towards the floor. Maybe it goes all the way down. Left hand behind the head, elbow up towards the sky. Head is back, aligned with the spine, and the gaze is up towards that left elbow, left shoulder away from the ear, creating a lot of space here. Breathe really deeply into the left side of the rib cage. Allow those slow, deep breaths to create a lot of space on the left side of the body, pressing that left sit bone down towards the mat, noticing its tendency to want to rise, pressing it down and breathing deeply into the left side of the rib cage and low back. After a few breaths here, your inhale rises you up, left hand comes down, right arm raises, and again, lean to the left. So drawing that left rib cage towards the left hand. A couple of deep breaths here. And then go ahead and round through the spine, bringing that left elbow towards the mat. Right hand comes behind the head. The gaze is up towards the right elbow. Keep that right shoulder away from the ear. Lots of space here. Breathing into the right side body now. Imagine that you're sending the breath directly into the left side of the rib cage and the left side of the spine. Pressing the right sit bone towards the mat. As you inhale, rise up. As we move through these spinal movements, imagine what the vertebra look like. So when we're arching and flexing, imagine that the vertebra, so you can visualize in your mind the vertebra and the way that they're moving and massaging the discs. When we move laterally, so side to side, imagine the way the vertebra are moving side to side to massage the discs. Now coming to a spinal twist, inhale, lengthen the spine, get tall. Exhale, twist to the right. Begin your twist with your low back. Inhale, get really tall, extend from tailbone to crown. Exhale, <clears throat> twist the middle back. Your right hand should be really close to your sit bones, really close to your pelvis to keep the spine nice and straight. If it's way back here, then you're leaning back too much. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, twist upper back, neck, and eyes to the right. With every inhale, get taller. Imagine pulling the vertebra away from each other. With every exhale, twist into the space that you've created. On your next inhalation, you can come forward. Get tall, exhale, twist to the left. Left hand close to the sit bones, right hand on the opposite knee. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, begin your twist with your middle, with your low spine. 
Inhale, get tall. Exhale, twist middle spine, moving with your breath. Inhaling, drawing the vertebra away from each other as you lift from tailbone to crown. And exhale, twisting into that space. Again, you might close the eyes and visualize what the vertebra are doing here. With your next inhalation, come forward. If you're comfortable on your seat, you can stay here. Alternatively, you can come up onto the knees and take the fingers to the front side of the shoulders, thumbs to the back. Begin to make small circles with the elbows forward. So as you inhale, raise the elbows up, and as you exhale, circle them forward and down. Pause and change direction. Inhaling, raising up. Exhaling, raising, lowering down. Again, I invite you to close the eyes and visualize the shoulder joint. Begin to warm up these muscles here. And with an exhalation, release the hands down to the mat. Club onto hands and knees now. Checking that the knees are directly under the hips and the hands are directly under the shoulders. The index finger is pointing forward. The fingers are spread nice and wide. Pressing into the base of the index finger and gripping the mat with the fingers. With an inhalation, drop the belly and chest. Bend the elbows back. Look up. Send the tailbone towards the sky. As you exhale, chin to chest, concave the chest, draw the belly to the spine, round through the back side of the body. Move through a few of your own breaths here, inhaling, arching, gazing up, really making this movement dramatic. Exhaling, rounding, drawing navel to spine. After a few breaths there, option to circle the head and the hips in opposite directions. Again, letting the breath lead the movement. So inhale as you arch, exhale as you round. Moving through a couple in one direction and then pause and change direction. Exhaling round, inhaling arches. Once you've found balance there, you can inhale, come back to a neutral spine. From here, walk the hands forward, keeping the tailbone up towards the sky and the hips directly above the knees. Keep walking the hands forward and dropping the chest towards the mat. You can rest the forehead on the mat or you can rest the chin and the chest on the mat, depending on how open the shoulders are. Broaden the shoulder blades, send the armpits down towards the ground and continue to breathe. Three to five, slow, deep breaths here, opening up through the thoracic spine. After a few deep breaths, Inhale, come back to center. From here, tuck the toes, keep the knees and the feet together, and send the hips back towards the heels. Option one is to sit up on the heels. This might be really intense for the toes and the bottom of the feet. If it is, just walk the hands forward and fold over into sort of like a child's pose with the toes tucked. Make sure that all 10 toes are tucked underneath, and really open through the bottom sides of the feet. Take a few deep breaths here. Inhale, raise back to hands and knees, untuck the toes and maybe give them a gentle kick. Sink the hips down to child pose. Walk the hands over to the right and open up through the left side body. 
You can go deeper by stacking the left hand on top of the right. Send the breath deep into the left side of the body. After a few breaths there, inhale to center and exhale in the opposite direction. Again, option to stack the hand on top of the other to go a little deeper here. Rest the head between the arms or on a block. And then after a few deep breaths here, inhale, coming back to center. Rest the head between the arms in child pose for a breath or two. Inhale, lift up on the knees, come down onto your belly. Extend the arms out to the side. Bring the left hand under the shoulder and gently roll onto the right side of the body. The head can rest on the mat. You can stay here or you can bring the left foot behind the right leg. Make sure that right hand is straight out from the right shoulder and not higher or lower. This might be as deep as you go today. Or you may reach the left hand to take hold of the right to deepen the stretch. After a few deep breaths there, roll back to the belly, extend deep. Extend the opposite arm straight out from the shoulder and then roll onto the left side body. Option to bring that right foot behind, rest the head on the mat. A couple of slow deep breaths, sending it deep into the belly, chest, throat. Listen for that audible breath. back to center. The option from here to do the outside of the shoulder. So you're going to come up onto the knees. You're going to take the elbows in opposite direction, palms facing up. And then you're going to start to low, lower down the hips onto the belly. Keep extending the arms out to the side and rest the forehead on the mat. A few slow, deep breaths here. And then as you inhale, unwind and switch the crossing of your elbows. A couple of deep breaths here. And then inhale, unwind. From the belly, roll directly onto the back. Extend the arms away from the side body and extend the heels away from each other. Wiggle the legs and let the whole body relax. Allow the breath to begin to flow. Soften the expression of the face. Let it sink towards the back of the head. Let the throat settle on the neck. Shoulders and arms are heavy. The exhalation allows the chest and the belly to sink into the muscles around the spine, which begin to melt into the earth. The pelvis settles into the glutes. The thighs into the hamstrings the shins into the calves, and the back side of the legs melts into the earth. The feet are heavy, little toe reaching towards the earth. Allow the breath to slow. Allow the mind to settle. back to the body, begin to move the fingers and toes, bend the knees and elbows, hug the knees to the chest, and roll yourself up to seated.
Thank you so much for joining this morning stretch practice and I'll see you next time.